Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to show you how to multiply and divide complex numbers. Now, multiply seems pretty straightforward. It's like multiplying two binomials together, but dividing is a different story. So let me show you how to do that. Well, first, let's start with the easy one. When we multiply two complex numbers together, we simply multiply it just like we would two binomials. We take the first term of the first binomial and multiply it times each of the two terms of the second. Then we take the second term here and multiply it times each of the two terms there. So that becomes the following. A times C. A times DI. That becomes plus ADI. And then BI times C. That becomes plus BCI. And then B times DI. That becomes or bi times di becomes plus bd times i squared. Now we learned before that i squared is actually equal to negative 1, which means this can be rewritten as follows. This is equal to ac plus, and here we can factor out an i. This becomes ad plus bc times i. And this, since i squared is negative 1, this becomes minus bd. Now we realize that, again, the product of two complex numbers gives us a real part and an imaginary part in the answer. ac minus bd is the real part, and this here becomes the imaginary part, which means the solution becomes ac minus bd as the real part of the product, plus AD plus BC times I, which is now the imaginary part of the product. And in some cases, they put the I in front, indicating that yes, what follows is indeed the imaginary number. You can put it there or there, it doesn't really matter. So this here becomes the real part, and this here becomes the imaginary part. So we'll indicate it with an R and an I. But now we're going to divide the very same two complex numbers. And when you divide, the solution is that you're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the complex conjugate, or I should say, yeah, the conjugate of our denominator. So this becomes equal to a, oh, not a, because that's not part of our denominator. We take the denominator and we put a negative instead of a positive, or a positive if this was already a negative. So this becomes c minus di divided by c minus di. And notice that this is simply equal to 1 because the numerator equals the denominator. But when we do that, we get the following. So here you can see that the numerator now simply becomes a product just like we had over there. Of course, we have a negative here to contend with. And in the denominator, since this is a plus and this is a minus, and other than that, the two terms are equal in magnitude, the middle term simply disappears. And it's the middle term that gives us the imaginary part, which means when we multiply the two denominators, we only get a real part and not an imaginary part since the middle term will not be there. And that way we have just a complex number in the numerator divided by a real number in the denominator. Let me show you what that looks like. So we're going to multiply the two complex numbers in the numerator. So 8 times c plus a times a negative di, that becomes minus a d times i. b times c, or b i times c, that would be plus b c i. And b i times a minus d i would be a minus b d, and that would be i squared. Okay. Notice that we have the same AC, AD, BC, and BD, just the signs are different because we have the negative sign over there. Now let's multiply the denominator, and I'm going to act as if I don't realize that the middle term will disappear. Now you'll see how that works. So the denominator will look as follows. C times C will give us C squared. C times a minus DI gives us a minus CDI. A di times a plus c gives us a plus c di, and a di times a negative di gives us a minus d squared, Oop, yeah, d squared and i squared. Now, just as I was saying before, notice that these are equal but opposite in signs, so they cancel. And then the numerator can be simplified. 
Now notice that the i squared is a negative 1, and a negative 1 times a negative makes this positive. And that gives us an AC plus a BD. And then here, I can say that this plus a negative AD plus a BC times I. So there's our numerator. And then in our denominator, we get C squared. And again, I squared is a negative 1, and a negative 1 times this negative makes this positive, so plus D squared. And notice now our denominator is simply a real number. It doesn't have an imaginary part. Now the numerator has a real part and an imaginary part, and we're dividing both of them by a real part. So that means that in the numerator, or I should say the real part, now becomes AC plus BD divided by c squared plus d squared, which is the real part of our solution. And then we can go plus, here we have a minus ad plus bc divided by, again, c squared plus d squared. And that would then be times i. So now you realize that when we divide one complex number by another complex number, we end up with a real part and an imaginary part, and the trick is by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate, in this case a complex conjugate, nope, nope, by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. And the reason again is to get rid of the imaginary term in the denominator. And that's how it's done.